National Unity Platform officials blame Parliament for the removal of Mitiana Municipality MP Francis Zakei from the post of a commissioner. Zakei was voted out last week on grounds of using abusive language on the Deputy Speaker of Parliament. The National Unit Platform Secretary General Lewis Rubongoya says Zakei's removal was legal and described it as a political fight. Even a person who has not gone to law school can see that uh, the Deputy Speaker, was, uh, as Honorable General was explaining the other day, how can you be a complainant, then you are a judge, you are the prosecutor, you are the executioner, I mean how? So anyone can see that this was just a, a case of political witch hunt. He told journalists that NUP will not replace Mitana Municipality MP as a commissioner at Parliament since they have challenged the move. Challenging the purported removal of Honorable Zake. We are challenging it using all avenues available, legal avenues, etc. etc. About the other process that the party may engage in, I'll say that we are going to sit and discuss that. Meanwhile, NUP has urged the government to intervene on the escalating commodity prices by cutting down taxes. Fuel prices went high, and the excuse was fuel trucks were held up at the border. But for a long time now, the trucks were released. Fuel prices have not gone down. In fact, in some cases, they have gone higher. We, we believe that the cartels who run the fuel industry are making sure of this. And that's why we are saying, government, can we see focus on this issue? It is not a secret that whenever uh, we have co escalating commodity prices, it is the women and girls that are largely affected by these prices in all aspects because the prices affect them right from the homestead. Philip Aguta, UBC News in Kampala. <laughs>